So you want to do Uber Eats, DoorDash, Deliveroo, menu log, but you're not sure whether it's best to use an e-bike or a car. Well, spoiler alert, there is no definitive answer, but by the end of this video, you'll be able to look at your own circumstances and situation and decide which vehicle is best for you. Hey guys, my name's Andy and welcome to the channel. So first I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of an e-bike, then the pros and cons of a car, and then I'm gonna tell you which vehicle is best for which type of person. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so the first big advantage that an e-bike has is the cost. Now, unless you already own a car, you're gonna to have to save up to buy one. And during that time, that means you won't be working. Now, to get hold of an e-bike, it's still gonna cost you about $2,000, maybe $1,500. Um, but what you can do is start renting one for about $50 and straight away. So that means you can start riding and you can start earning straight away for about 50 bucks. There's a few rental companies now that do it. And then further down the track, if you want to purchase your own or if you do want to save up and buy a car, then that's a possibility. Related to that, and the second biggest advantage is the, uh, the cost of upkeep and ongoing costs. Obviously you've got no fuel costs, which is just getting more and more expensive all the time. You haven't got to worry about paying um, insurance paying your road tax, any wear and tear to the vehicle, none of that. And the third biggest advantage, now this one's gonna be subjective, but I actually think an e-bike is more fun. Now, if you love cars, then you probably disagree, or if you absolutely cannot stand cycling, then you'll probably disagree as well. But it's pretty fun flying around 25K an hour on an e-bike for way less effort than a normal bike. So uh, yeah, if you don't like normal bikes, don't let it put you off because you might find that you do actually like e-bikes. And the other big advantage you'll notice is as soon as you hit traffic, where it's just blocked up in a lane, two lanes, three lanes even, you can just slide straight past. So in areas where you're getting jobs and there is a lot of traffic, I think you could actually work out it's quicker than um, doing it by car. And I would like to think that the algorithms and all the platforms know that and give you jobs where it's going to be quicker for you than it would be a car so that could actually be an advantage so especially in places like the cbd or any inner city areas with dense traffic you're going to be just gliding past and you're going to be looking much better than a car now for the disadvantages the one big one which you'll know if you watch my other video where i did a shift on an e-bike was that they are terrible when the weather's is when you're terrible when the weather is bad so if it rains, it's not fun at all. If it's really hot, like in Melbourne, if it's 40 degrees, I can't imagine cycling around on an e-bike in that temperature. You know, sometimes it's hot enough just walking around. To be on a bike, even though it's not as much effort as a normal bike, you still wouldn't want to be cycling around on an e-bike in 40 degrees. And in the winter, especially if you're in Melbourne, sometimes the rain's so bad you just can't go out. So you need to be aware that if e-bike is your only mode of transport for uh, doing food deliveries, there are gonna be times when you can't work. And if it rains all weekend and you're relying on working Saturday, Friday night and Saturday night, you could end up going a whole week without working. If you're a student or whatever and they're your only opportunities, boy, gotta watch out for those car doors. Another big disadvantage, which is kind of the opposite to the advantage that you would get in the CBD in busy city areas, is that out in the suburbs, you might find that you don't get many jobs, if any. Now I did a shift the other day and in the evening it was fine, it was like a Saturday evening and the jobs were constant enough. But if you wanna work like all day on a weekend or whatever, you're gonna have to go in a city. So I think you're just not gonna get off of the jobs out in the suburbs. So. That's something to think about when you're weighing up your options. And lastly, a disadvantage that might only apply to some people. Um, although I keep saying an e-bike is a lot easier to ride than a normal bike, um, in terms of effort it takes, you are still out sitting on a saddle, cycling around, albeit with little effort. Um, so if you're doing that all day, some people may find that tiring. Um, it's definitely possible and I don't think you should let that put you off if you're a reasonably fit person um, it's definitely possible and to be honest I think it's good and you'll also build conditioning which makes it more easy for you and do you know what I find sitting in a car all day can be tiring as well so 
that's a bit subjective that one but it's definitely something you need to think about and it may be a disadvantage for you is that it's going to get tiring doing long shifts on an e-bike so one of the biggest advantages of using a car for your food delivery is that you're going to be pretty unaffected by weather conditions now i'm probably hammering this home a bit but the last shift i did on an e-bike link to that video up there i got rained on and to be honest it wasn't very fun now if you can only work like a couple of days each week and certain days each week and it happens to rain hard on those days that's your chances of earning gone for that week same goes in the summer and the really hot days i'd rather be in a car with aircon than riding around on an e-bike even though it's not as much effort as a bike it's still going to be pretty uncomfortable Another huge advantage of a car, and this one's going to apply to everyone, even if you think you live in a place with brilliant weather all the time, this one's still going to apply to you. In a car, you're going to be a lot busier in pretty much nearly every area. Like with an e-bike, unless you're in the CBD or close to the city centre, you might find that not many jobs come up through, regardless of the platform. But if you're in a car, you can travel further distances. And so unless you're like in the middle of the bush, you're going to get a lot more jobs. So Unless you live near the city, you're probably going to be better off in a car. And the final advantage of using a car for your food delivery, Uber Eats, DoorDash, etc., is comfort. Not only will you be unaffected by the weather conditions, so you'll stay dry and keep yourself at a decent temperature, but you can sit in a chair that's pretty comfortable. Um, you can have your music going or an audio book or a podcast I like to do, especially if you've got other businesses going on and go. You can use it as a time to sort of give yourself some extra education. Um, yeah, you can have a friend with you if you wanted sitting next to you. It's just all round, it's probably more comfortable than on a bike. Okay, now it's time to talk about the disadvantages of using a car. And there's a couple of really big ones. Firstly, initial cost. If you don't already own a car, you're gonna have to spend to get one. Even if you get one on finance, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. And so if you've literally got nothing, you've got no car, no e-bike, you might lean towards getting the e-bike as it is cheaper. And the next big disadvantage of a car, and again, it's financial, it's the ongoing costs involved. So you're probably thinking straight away fuel. And yeah, that is a big one. And it keeps getting more expensive and doesn't it like it's going to stop anytime soon. But you've also got to think about your tax of the car, insurance for the car. Um, and you might be thinking, oh, I've already got a car, I've already got insurance. But if you're using your car for food delivery, you should let your insurance company know. And they're obviously going to put the premium up, right? Any chance they get, they'll put it up. Um, and thirdly, wear and tear to the vehicle, which is something that I don't think many people really talk about or even think about. Um, doing short little trips around town, opening doors, slamming doors, like it's not good for your car, it's not good for the engine, and it's not great just for the general wear and tear of all the parts. So you are gonna have to factor that in. There is wear and tear happening to your car, more so than if you weren't using it or if you were using it just for your normal regular use. So that's definitely something to think about. And the final disadvantage, especially when you compare it to an e-bike, is how affected you are by traffic when you're in a car. If you get stuck in a traffic jam, there's absolutely nothing you can do. You just have to sit there and put up with it. This is going to be especially more so when you're closer to the city or you're trying to drive during peak hours. So like the morning rush hour, afternoon rush hour, when schools are out, etc., etc. You might not be affected if you live in an area that generally doesn't get affected by traffic, then great. Great, but again, that's something to think about when you're making your mind up about what vehicle is best for you. By the way, if you're enjoying this and finding it useful so far, then definitely hit subscribe because there's plenty more content like this on the channel. But now to sum up, which should you choose? If you are a person who lives in the city or near the city or at least a dense traffic area, and you think that your sort of local weather is reliable enough, or if not, that you're okay to miss the odd shift due to bad weather, and if you're a relatively fit person, then it sounds like the e-bike could be for you and I definitely recommend considering it. If you live sort of too far away from any dense traffic areas, too far out from the city that is not worth traveling in, or if you think that your local weather is not gonna be reliable enough and you're not happy to miss the shifts when it's raining too badly or if the weather is too extremely hot and you're not happy to work in those conditions, and if your favorite machine at the gym is the vending machine, then it sounds like you should be leaning more towards the car. So I hope you found that useful. If you made it this far, then please consider subscribing because there'll be plenty more videos like this on the way. Also have a look at my other videos. There's one on there where I actually reviewed one of the most popular e-bikes available in Australia. I also did um, an e-bike shift and there's a shift uh, I did in a car as well. So you can sort of have a look at those and get a feel for what it's actually like 
um, when you're out there on the road. If you've never done it before, but you're thinking about doing it, you might just get a little bit of uh, extra confidence from seeing, to be honest, just how easy it is. So yeah, that's about it. One more thing I will add is that regardless of what vehicle you use, please be very careful when you're driving around, especially if you're trying to rush and get jobs delivered quickly. Um, E-bike in particular, if you have very little experience on a bicycle, or if you wanna be working in the CBD and you've got very little experience in the CBD, then please, please be very careful because it is dangerous. There's a fair few accidents that happen um, all over the country, all over the world, um, involving food delivery couriers, especially on bikes. Um, if you're new to the country, for example, or if you're new to the city, then uh, maybe spend a bit of time walking around the city first, get a feel for how the roads work. If you have a friend or you know someone that already does Uber Eats, Deliveroo, DoorDash, etc., see if you can uh, sort of tag along with them for a shift and just, just get a feel for it. And that's it, yeah, just be safe, safety first. That comes way before any sort of financial gain. So yeah, bear that in mind. And yeah, and that's it. Until next time, I'll see you later, guys. Cheers.